Motion uses AI to plan your schedule around your priorities and get more work done. Like Reclaim AI that I introduced in my last video, Motion reschedules your tasks dynamically whenever a new meeting comes in or when your priorities change. So how does Motion work and what is it all about? Before we take a look at the software, let's understand who the founders are and what problem they want to solve. Harry T, co-founder and CEO of Motion, recently wrote that knowledge workers still spend 58% of their day coordinating work instead of doing work. Let's ignore the ridiculous number for a moment. What this quote shows nicely is that Motion is really about improving productivity, whereas competitor Reclaim wants you to spend more time on things that are important to you. You might think that this is not relevant, but consider that we are talking about an AI that controls your schedule, and over the long term intentions are going to shine through in one form or another. With that being said, how does Motion try to increase your productivity? Here too we have an insightful quote from Harry T. We carefully studied how the most productive people in the world get more done each day. Hyperproductive people religiously plan their day minute by minute. And of course, what would be a better tool to do this than an AI scheduler? Okay, now that we know what this is all about, let's look at the features. Motion's top three features are project management, task management, and meeting assistance. Unlike Reclaim, Motion does not have a separate feature for habits, but you can schedule reoccurring tasks, which work roughly the same way. Let me show you how each of these work in the software. Alright, first of all, let me point out that we do have a native app here, which is different from Reclaim, that one we always needed to take a look at in the browser. Other than that, the interface is quite comparable. We do have a calendar slash planner overview where we can see the week. We do have projects and tasks, which in the case of Motion also includes habits. And then we have a booking button here as well, which helps you to schedule meetings. And we do have a settings menu, which obviously shows you various options uh, as you would expect in any kind of app. Now, let's first look at project management. For projects, we see that we have appointments that are right here in the manager. Uh, they can also come from Google uh, Calendar, but you can also put them directly in here. So, for example, let's say we have a meeting uh, here from 4.15 to 5. We can give it a name, Coffee with Daniel, and save it. And that's kind of the core functionality. You will see a few seconds later, it will readjust all the other kind of tasks that are scheduled. In previous experiments that actually happened uh, in less than a second, this time it took a few seconds, but nevertheless, you see it uh, updates fairly quickly. So uh, that is how you can see it throughout your day and throughout your week. You also have the option to see that in a list view or in a Kanban view. Kanban view means that you have these sort of uh, tiles that you can move around. And here this uh, 180 resolution doesn't really show it well because they didn't <laughs> optimize the software for that resolution. But basically we can uh, move around different tasks here according to the priority. Like now my next video moved to low priority and the software will consider that. But the main view is this project view. Uh, here, for example, uh, we have this motion video as a project and I have my next video as a project as well. We can create different tasks in that project. And in the case of my next video, I even decided to create subtasks instead of tasks. So that's quite uh, normal for any kind of task manager. 
And then what makes it more like a time manager is, as well is that you can give the tasks a duration, a deadline, and you see when it's scheduled, and then you can add various other information. And if you do that, you will then automatically get all the tasks scheduled in the calendar. I should point out that you cannot create uh, dependencies here. So it will not be smart enough to understand that a movie needs to be prepared and researched first before being filmed. So you sort of need to work around that and make sure the items just appear in the right order. And if you do it with subtasks, like I did here for my next video, what you will end up with is just uh, items that are named after the whole task, like produce video, produce video, and uh, the subtask will not be directly visible in the calendar. So that is roughly how you can manage projects and then also tasks. It's quite relevant to know that you cannot uh, synchronize this with Monday, Asana, ClickUp or any other task manager, which means you need to individually add every task here uh, to make this work for you. Uh, which, also, which also means that you can hardly use it together in parallel with another task manager, unless you want to enter every task uh, in two different places. So that is the basic functionality of the task manager. Uh, let me show you a few basic interactions. So let's say, um, for example, we want to do the research for this movie at 6, not 5.15 for whatever reason, we can just drag it around uh, and move it. And what that does is then it fixes that here and it will not uh, sort of change it around anymore because we already fixed it. And to unlock that again, we just need to refresh it and now it will be unlocked and moved back to the earliest possible convenient time. So that is a rough overview uh, for more details or other features. I suggest also check out my video about Reclaim AI, which is almost the same functionality in this area. Then another quite important feature is the booking feature. Here we can just send out links. It's kind of uh, like uh, any any schedule assistant, like Calendly, for example. You can uh, just copy a link. You can actually also generate a message. And then you can even personalize it. Here, let's say I write a message for myself and uh, some kind of invented email, whatever then I can just copy this message and now it's in my clipboard. I can mail this and let me show you what happens if you open that link. So if you open that link, what you get here is a time selection option. It's really like Calendly where you can choose any time and date, select it. Then the guest gives his own name and email. So you will receive a calendar invite directly. Plus you will also receive options to change the event if a collision happens. But there is really no AI magic after this point. Uh, it's not like uh, the meeting will be rescheduled automatically according to both of your priorities. But this is then a manual action. It's only the initial scheduling that considers your schedule and the other person then chooses their own time that works for them. So what would you actually use Motion for? According to their website, the use cases are service businesses and functional teams. The main problem I see here is that Motion does not integrate with other project managers like Asana, Monday or ClickUp, as I mentioned earlier. So then these companies either need to migrate or duplicate their previous task management. Even though they don't list it as a use case, you can also use Motion to manage your time as an individual, which would be the obvious starting point in my viewpoint. All right, 
Let's quickly look at pricing before I share my overall thoughts. First of all, let me point out that motion is really expensive. As an individual, you pay $34 per month, which is an extremely high price considering that others, like Reclaim, offer you a very similar service for free. Second, let me point out that Motion chose a pricing strategy that is the opposite of every other task managing software I looked at before. Rather than offering the service for free or cheaper for individual users and then making it more expensive the more users you want to add to the service, Motion actually gives you a 40% discount per user for signing on as a team. I can only imagine they do this because their strategy is to attract teams as clients rather than individuals, which would fit well with their productivity focus motif that I introduced to you at the beginning of the video. All right, let's come to the conclusion. Let me first point out what I think the software does well. First of all, the core functionality is good. It arranges your task and then rearranges them within about one second if a new appointment comes in. Yeah, it might take a few seconds sometimes as we just saw in the demo, but uh, previously it happened in about one second for me in most cases. That is a stark contrast to Reclaim AI, which needs more than 10 seconds for the same thing. Second, the meeting invite links are great and just work. There is no fancy AI rescheduling feature that considers both participants' uh, calendars and then moves stuff around, okay. But the whole service just works well and does so smoothly. What are the things Motion does not so well? First of all, the pricing. Motion is just extremely expensive compared to the competition and doesn't offer any free service besides the seven day free trial. Second, Motion lacks any integration to other task managers. This is really a missed opportunity. Third, while the core functionality may be solid, the rest of the user experience is bad. The interface has numerous design bugs and the few tutorial videos there are are just really cheap and crappy quality, even when the CEO Harry Chi is taking them himself and talking you through the software himself in, in some short video clips. There are several other missing things, such as the missing habits feature, unclear definitions of what daytime and nighttime is in the software, and also the inability of putting tasks in the past. If you do that, they will just uh, disappear or the software gets confused. All right, so that was Motion AI. Thanks and shout out also to fellow YouTubers A-Team, Alex and Andrea to first make me aware of Motion. And uh, I'll also put a link to their review in the video description and their review is more positive than mine. I can promise you that. As for me, this was the last video in a series of task managers and how they leverage AI. What I will do soon is publish a video where I compare them all. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.